New technology is helping police and prosecutors right here in the Bay Area solve burglary cases. It goes far beyond fingerprints and can be just as accurate. And as our Jacqueline and Glaze shows us tonight, it can take analysts just a few days to get results and help catch criminals. They accessed this hallway here through the ceiling tile um, and came down the other ceiling tile. For six and months, they, it puzzled Pastor Mason Dorsey uh, as to who the, broke into a St. Pete church and stole cash. Police showed up, took a report, and recovered a partial fingerprint. Only the fingerprint proved worthless. I'm thinking yeah, there's not a whole lot of hope for this one. Detectives also found the screwdriver they believe the thief used to pry open this filing cabinet. Still locked, too. And submitted it for a new type of forensic testing called touch DNA. It's not DNA you can see like saliva or blood. It's microscopic. Touch DNA is the transfer of cells from one item to another via touch. Analysts like Janelle Bory scrape or swab surfaces to get enough skin cells to match to suspects. You opened a door or you grabbed somebody and held them or you placed your hands on a countertop. All of those things could lend itself to the transfer of skin cells. All it takes, according to Boris, are 30 skin cells. That's not a lot, considering scientists estimate humans shed 30 to 40,000 skin cells every hour. Typically, there's lots of things that determine how much skin is put down or how many cells are put down, whether it be if the person's very sweaty, so that's a, a medium for transfer for the cells. Once a sample is taken, the cells are separated and then undergo the same laboratory procedure as standard DNA testing. If a DNA profile is extracted, it's compared to a suspect's DNA or entered into an FBI database. In the case of the church burglary, analysts say the profile from the screwdriver matched this man, 44-year-old Scott Regan. But just how accurate is the DNA match? For us, it's 330 billion. One in 330 billion. Enough proof for detectives to arrest and charge Regan. The touch DNA also linked him to four other church burglaries in the Bay Area. He is actually the, the poster child for the touch DNA. The concept has been around for nearly a decade, but the forensic method has only been offered at the Pinellas County Crime Lab for the past three years. In that time, Major Mike Kavasik with the St. Pete Police Department says it's helped solve 38% of burglary cases. Once you get into the extraction process... Now, lab analysts say nearly 90% of the cases that come through the crime lab have one piece of evidence collected in an attempt to obtain touch DNA. For us, it's given us another tool to utilize, and those cases prior to August 2010 would never have been solved. Bringing closure to dozens of victims, and in Pastor Dorsey's case, it's at least giving him a day in court. To identify the person to us um, was, was a big relief um, and, and pretty impressive. Scott Regan is awaiting trial and is facing nine counts of burglary. As for touch DNA, detectives say it's now being used to investigate violent crimes throughout the Bay Area and even in a recent arson case. I'm Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.